Hello viewers, so today I will be giving us updates on Tinibu and his illegitimacy. So former INEC chairman Atairo Jega has come out to say that the 2023 election was rigged and that Tinibu did not win the election. So this is what he said and Nigerians have been reacting to it and also Nigerians in the diaspora are actually out in their various countries and are calling for the Supreme Court to disqualify Tinubu, saying that an illegitimate president cannot be their president. And this is what is ongoing currently. And the heat is becoming so much for President Bola Tinubu because each day, fresh revelations of how he rigged the 2023 elections keep coming out. But before I give us details on this, I would like us to please do well to like this video and also do well to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification button so you get updates whenever we post a new video. See the way this newspaper reported what Jega said. They said, INEC officials rigged 2023 election. Jega, the former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Atahiru Jega, has accused some of his officials of compromising the outcome of the last general election. The accusations were made during a two-day retreat organized for senators in Ibom. In his lecture, Mr. Jega spoke on the topic electoral reform and democratic consolidation in Nigeria, review of 2022 electoral act, areas for further legislative actions. Mr. Jega stated that these officials were appointed into their positions based on political bargains and were subsequently influenced to compromise the integrity of the elections. He suggested that in order to prevent such a situation from occurring again, there must be rigorous screening of the officials before they are appointed in order to ensure they are capable of executing their duties without any bias or prejudice. So this is what Jega said. He said that INEC officials rigged the 2023 presidential election. And we know that when an election is rigged, the people that are actually returned as winners of that election are obviously not the winners of the election. So this is what Jega is trying to say that Tinibu did not win the 2023 presidential election. And he's also calling for a reform that the president should not be the one to appoint INEC chairman because at the end of the day, they will just do the bidding of the people that employ them. Because that's it. When a president appoints someone like the INEC chairman, it is impossible for the INEC chairman to not do his bidding. He will want to do anything that he says. And that's what happened even in the 2023 presidential election. And it is obvious, even everyone, even Nigerians in diaspora, even those who are not Nigerians, know that for real, that Peter Obi won the 2023 presidential election. But because of how it was rigged, they put him in third place and, and made Tinubu the winner of the 2023 presidential election. And this is the revelation he has made. And he is calling for there to be a change that the president will no longer appoint the INEC chairman. Rather, there will be another way to bring him into power so that there will truly be an independent body. Because you cannot say a body is independent, yet the president is the one that appoints them. And he can also fire them at any point in time. They are not independent. They are actually depending on the president. And as they are dependent that way, they must do their bid. Reacting to what Jega said on X, this person here said, Everyone knows it was compromised, including those who did it. The criminal aspect of it is that those who should have spoken out since chose to remain silent, thinking they are going to benefit from this misfortune that befell the country. Evil thrive not because of those who perpetrate it, but because of the silence of those who who should speak out and this is it everyone knows that indeed the 2023 elections was actually rigged but some persons will come out to say that it was one of the best elections that nigerians have ever experienced why would someone do such a thing just because you are supporting him why not call a spade a spade and this is what jega has done even if he took so much time before he came out to say this truth and i personally said prof jega the elections you conducted were not perfect either but mahmoud yakubu reverted all the progress made and took our election credibility level to zero 
What a shame. I remember Prof. Jagger's popular statement, read from the original. Indeed, a good predecessor needs a better successor. That wasn't the case for INEC. And this is it. Even if we know that Jagger did not do absolutely well when he was INEC chairman, but the case of Mahmoud is actually worse. And that person here said, we all knew it was compromised. But they said we should not talk because it favored our tribe. But we no go agree. And this is actually coming from a Yoruba person here. And he's saying that they all know that the elections was compromised. And that's it. Many people were saying Emilokon. That means it's the time for Yorubas. It's the time for Southerners. But this thing is actually obvious that he was actually fighting for himself. Just look after how many months in power. There's no change from anywhere. So this is actually beyond tribe. This is actually for the good of everyone in Nigeria. If at the end of the day you want to believe they are fighting for your tribe to come into power, you also you will suffer because you don't know that this person has another motive just to go there and enjoy himself. Also reacting to this, this person here said, I can only advise you to put lots of pressure on the Supreme Court injustices. If not, the chaos will go follow we overwhelm you all to the extent of begging. So this is what this person is saying. That beyond those people coming out to talk now, they should ensure that they put pressure on the Supreme Court justices to do the right thing in their judgment. Another person here reacted and said, Man of integrity, a law should be enacted for that and not stopped at INEC alone. President shouldn't be allowed to appoint the CJN2 to avoid bias since judiciary is a different government arm the law should also make election of national assembly principal officers void of president impute and this is it these people are meant to be independent so that they can call the presidency to order but this is not what we are seeing the president gets to appoint the CJN. He gets to appoint the attorney general of the federation. How are they going to speak when they are working under him? It's impossible for them to act as an independent body. They are meant to be another arm of government. But that's not what we are seeing in Nigeria. Because they are actually appointed by the president. So they will just do his bidding. Just say now the CJN. He has to do something that will favor him. If not, he will be fired. At the end of the day, he might be threatened. The same thing with the attorney general. They will threaten other lawyers under them. If you don't do the bidding of the president, there will be a repercussion for it. So that's why they have to be independent. The same thing with the INEC. They have to be independent. Know that they are working under the president and you still want them to be the one to sack the president. It is impossible for such a thing to happen. This person here also reacted and said, everyone knows it. Tinibu never won the election. INEC imposed him on Nigeria because of money. Another person here also reacted and said, Everyone knows, even APC knows, we know we have an illegitimate president in Asorok at the moment. Democracy is about legitimacy. It is about handing over one sovereignty to an individual. Nigerians have not done that to Tinibu. So it will be very difficult for him to succeed even if the Supreme Court validates his false victory. And that's it. It's about the people voting for you. And then when the people vote for you, they are able to work it with you. They are able to believe in what you are going to do. But this is not the case of Sinibu. He forced his way into the presidency. And now he is getting it from every quarter, from Nigerians, for people outside Nigeria. Everyone is just against anything he is doing. And indeed, all the policies that he has brought in since he was voted into power are actually anti-people. They are not actually for the betterment of Nigeria. From the removal of fuel subsidy to the palliative, all of these are not helping Nigerians in any way. And for now, the dollar is 1,140 naira per dollar just imagine what nigerians are going through this is not what nigerians want and that's why nigerians were intentional and voted for someone who they believed in his mandate someone who they believed will help the nation by the end of the day INEC rigged it and gave the mandate to tinibu also reacting to this another person here said wonder why the silence seems but it's better late than never 
Yakubu should shamefully resign. This person here also reacted and said he was a perpetrator. However, thank you for echoing what we already know. Presidents shouldn't appoint judges, INEC chairman, CBN governors, EFCC president, and so on. It's so, so wrong. Like, how are those even possible? And this is it. These people cannot work independently. Say, for example, how can the EFCC go after the president when they were actually appointed by this same person? Even if you are involved in any crime whatsoever, they cannot come after you because they are working under you. These people are meant to be independent. It's the same thing with the CJN, the same thing with the Attorney General of the Federation, the same thing with the INEC chairman. They are supposed to be independent so that they can work effectively for the good of the nation. Another person here also reacted and said, Nigerians knew this all along. Coming from a former chairman shows how serious we should take this and push for an amendment of the electoral act before the next election cycle i next chairman should be voted in like we vote the rest maybe a year before the election this person here is suggesting another person here also said tinibus failed government soon even apc supporters will review how election was rigged and this is it is already happening as of last week, one of APC supporters came out to say that Tinubu did not win the 2023 election. It's already happening and most of them are not saying it because they are ashamed that Nigerians are going to blast them for supporting someone who rigged an election. And I personally also said, we all know that it was Labour Party that won the election but was placed on third because they know that if he came second, he can fight to get back his mandate. Hmm. This person here also reacted and said, We already know because all of us, both home and abroad, saw what played out. Tiffany Boo came toward and that's to show that we don't want him at all. This is an open secret that is known to all living things. Everyone knows the elections was rigged. Yakubu Mahmoud must have made billions he would use to buy medications for himself. Hmm. I've been waiting for him to say this and I am glad he's finally done it. I think he should have done this earlier, but it's better late than never, especially in the light of the upcoming Supreme Court judgment on the presidential election. And we hope all of this will help in this case that is currently in the court that the supreme court will listen to all of this and the supreme court will use the evidence before them to do the right thing and that person here said you are correct mr jagger 2023 elections was rigged by mr yakubu and his colleague that don't want better nigeria it's only in nigeria that you can see professors rigging elections for politicians this person here reacted and said and that person here said he is very correct you can't go against who gave you job that's what the man is trying to say and this is it it's impossible for you to go against the person that appointed you into office you must do his bidding as a matter of fact and that person here also reacted and said he knows what he's saying he was once INEC chairman appointed by president INEC chairman was supposed to be appointed by non-political body not by an office that would demand return of favor from him like Yakubu versus Buhari and Tinibu and this is it this is what we are calling for at this point in time that the INEC chairman should not be appointed by the president the same thing with the CJN the same thing with the attorney general they should not be appointed by the president so that they can be able to do their job effectively without fear or favor if these people are actually appointed by the president, they will want to favor him. They will be afraid of doing anything against him because he brought them into power. From nowhere, he appointed them. So they have to maintain that position. They have to keep working according to his principles so that they can retain the same position that he appointed them into. So it's actually not good for the nation if we continue that way that the president has the right, has the power, has the ability to appoint these people into this position. They will by all means do his bidding.
Also, Nigerians in Canada yesterday had a peaceful match where they were calling for the disqualification of Tinibu and they were with placards and banners calling for his disqualification. Some of their placards read, Tinibu is Nigeria's illegitimate president. All eyes on the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Nigerians in Canada say Tinibu must go. A certificate forger cannot be our president. So these were the things that they had in their placard. Some said Nigerian laws prohibit certificate forgery. Tinibu is a liar. Tinibu is Nigeria's illegitimate president. Tinibu is a security threat to Nigeria. So these were the things that they inscribed on their placards and they were walking on the streets calling for his disqualification. And this is the level that we have gotten to that everyone now knows as they are doing this and with all of these things going on on social media from Chicago State University saga to the FBI saga Everyone knows, even the world, those that are non Nigerians know that Tinibu did not win the 2023 presidential election. And also, Nigerians in the UK are set to also go on their own peaceful protest. See this flyer that they released. They said Tinibu must go protest and is going to hold from October 25th, 27th, and 20th. And, and they are also going to be calling for his disqualification and this is the level we have gotten to and, and like people will say it is going to be more honorable if the president can just resign at this point in time you've realized that of a truth you are not qualified why not resign at this point in time why not do the right thing and also it is the responsibility of the supreme court to do the right thing if the president fails to resign if the president fails to resign, it is on them to use the evidence, the laws before them to do the right thing to ensure that they give Nigerians justice. Because this is not just only Nigerians that are watching them this time around. Nigerians in diaspora are watching. Even the world at large, they are watching. And this is going to send a message to the world. If Nigeria is now a place that anything can go. If Nigeria is now a home for forgery, if Nigeria is a place that the law is actually the law or we have people that are actually above the law in the nation, these are the things that the judgment of the Supreme Court will put out there. So it is the responsibility of the Supreme Court to save the face of the judiciary both before Nigerians and then outside Nigeria to save their face because Nigerians already have given up on them. So it is their responsibility at this point in time to save their face and to restore their image before Nigerians by doing the right thing. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please do also share your thoughts about the video in the comment section. Please do also like this video and please do also subscribe to our channel so you get notifications whenever we post new updates.